Gombe State, known as the Jewel in the Savannah in the northeastern part of Nigeria, played host to the cream of Nigeria's academic community as the Federal University Kashere marked activities of its maiden convocation. Federal University Kashere Gombe State was founded in 2011 as one of the 12 new universities established by the federal government to further open access to tertiary education for the Timi Nigerians seeking places in our universities and also to ensure equity in the distribution of federal universities across the six geopolitical zones in the country. The Federal University Kashere FUK Gwombe State envisioned to be a world-renowned center of learning through excellence in teaching, research, scholarly and artistic activities, which had about 300 students at inception in 2011, now has over 3,000 students pursuing different disciplines of study in the faculties of agriculture, education, humanities, management and social sciences, and sciences. Federal University Kashere Gwombe State commenced full academic programs on the 1st of March 2011. Professor Mohamed Kabiru Farouk was appointed the institution's pioneer vice chancellor. His Royal Highness Ochi Duma Agabaidu Elias Ikoyobekba, CON, Chancellor and former Governor of Ogun State, Otumba Engineer Benga Daniel, as the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council of the Federal University, Kashere. The first convocation ceremony of Federal University Kashere Gwombe State began with a pre convocation lecture, which was delivered by Professor Abubakar Sani Sambo, former chairman of the National Energy Commission. The theme of the lecture Sustainable Power Supply in Nigeria. The need to expand the energy mix was very timely and most professionally analyzed by Professor Abubakar Sambo, who brought his rich and varied experience in Nigeria's energy sector to bear in the lecture. The main thrust of the lecture is that Nigeria needs to increase its sources of generating power from 2 to 7 by introducing large-scale utilization of solar energy, wind energy, biomass, and biofuels, in addition to clean coal plants and power from nuclear stations. So all of us know that electricity is the most convenient and versatile form of energy that is absolutely needed for all nations, not Nigeria. Electricity can be generated from a variety of sources, and whether it's from water, from firewood, from coal, from uranium, all of them, you could process them to get electricity. Professor Abuba Kasambo also advocated energy efficiency and conservation among Nigerians. Professor Abubakar Sambo posited that it's grossly anomalous for less than 50% of Nigeria's population to have access to electricity and that 5,000 megawatts is grossly inadequate for the 178.5 million Nigerians. Professor Sambo, in his presentation, highlighted the nation's energy resources, touched on the current status of the power sector, and charted a way forward to attain sustainable power supply in the country. So most of the NIPP gas stations were ready and the all of a sudden the nation realized no gas fire. Then. So up to now we are having problems with air constraints. And there are gas deposits all over. All over. Actually, most of the geopolitical zones and uh, and the, 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 the contracts were awarded for gas development and like every other major contract in our dear country. According to Professor Sambo, more than 5,000 megawatts is required for the socio-economic growth of the country. The projection by energy planning experts using modern energy modeling tool is that the electricity requirement of the Nigerian economy will be about 31,000 megawatts by 2020 and about 63,000 megawatts by 2030. The present low rate of electricity generation per capita is the reason that demand for electricity far outweighs the available capacity. In Nigeria today, unfortunately, unfortunately, we just have about 5,000 megawatts. And that 5,000 megawatts came very recently uh, for a population which the National Population Commission says is about 178.5. This is, this is, I'll come to that, this is 
The very intellectually stimulating lecture, which helps to further educate Nigerians on the essentials of the energy mix of Nigeria, ended with the question and answer session. Another important aspect of activities marking the convocation of Federal University Kashere FUK in Gwombe State was the Chancellor's Night, a forum which provided a platform for very close interactions between the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, and Principal Officers of the institution. The Chancellor of Federal University Kashere Kwambe State, His Royal Highness, the Ochi Doma Agabaidu Elias Ikoi Obekpa CON, was accompanied by his wives and some prominent monarchs and chiefs of Idoma land, among whom was General Chris Garba, former governor of Old Bochi State, from which Gwombe State was carved. The main event marking the maiden convocation of Federal University Kashere Gwombe State, which took place at the Convocation Square in the institution, was the first convocation of the university, where first degrees and prizes were conferred on 160 students from different faculties of the university who were successful at the end of their four-year course of study. The occasion also witnessed the investiture of the Chancellor of the institution, the Ochi Doma, who was also honored with the Honorary Doctor of Letters degree, Honorary Koza. The order of proceedings at the Federal University Kashere Convocation began with the student's procession, procession of the congregation, which featured staff of the university who are degree holders. The Senate procession was next and was followed by the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, and other members of the Governing Council of the Federal University Kashere, Chancellors of other universities, visiting Vice Chancellors, and Pro Chancellors. After the opening prayers, the Registrar of the institution, Dr. Abubakar Aliyu Bafeto, mounted the dais, doffed his heart, and announced the purpose of the convocation and presented the Vice Chancellor, Professor Mohamed Kabiru Farouk, to the gathering to formally declare open the convocation for the award of undergraduate degrees, prizes, and investiture of the Chancellor of the Federal University, Kashere Gwombe State. Declare the first convocation for the award of undergraduate degrees, prizes, and the investiture of the Chancellor open. In order to properly constitute the convocation, the registrar approached the days once again to request the vice chancellor to invite the visitor for the formal investiture of the chancellor, upon which the visitor of the university is then invited to perform the investiture of the chancellor. The visitor of the Federal University Kashere, President Mohamed Buhari, who was represented by Professor Mohamed Hamisu Mohamed, former VC, Abubakar Tafawa Balewa University, Bochi State, now with the NUC. With the authority and power vested in him as the visitor of the university, he then formally presented His Royal Highness, Agabaidu Elias Ikoi Obekwa Ochi Doma IV, Chairman of Idoma Traditional Rulers Council the instrument of office as Chancellor of the Federal University, Kashere, Gwombe State. In response, the Chancellor rises and says, I promise to perform my duties faithfully and diligently as the Chancellor of Federal University, Kashere. The Vice-Chancellor invited the Orator of the University to present the citation of the Chancellor before he was conferred with the Honorary Degree of Letters, Honorary Koza, by the authority of the Senate. Born on the 31st of December 1944, the Ochi Doma 
and the pioneer chancellor of the Federal University, Kashere, who has the Bachelor of Arts degree as the first degree and master's degree in business management from Cambridge in the UK, was a teacher for many years. He was conferred with the national honor of the commander of the Order of the Niger in 2006. The Ochi Doma was chairman of Benue State Board of Internal Revenue until 1996 when he mounted the throne as a monarch. The vice chancellor then conferred on the chancellor the honorary doctorate degree of law, LLD, of the Federal University Kashere with the rights and privileges attached thereto. The chancellor is then dressed by the visitor, the vice chancellor, registrar, while the visitor returned to his seat. Then the registrar invited His Royal Highness Agabaidu Elias Ikoyobekba, C.O.N., the Ochi Doma IV, as the Chancellor of the Federal University Kashere Gwombe State, to address the convocation. In his address, the Chancellor of the Federal University Kashere Gwombe State was full of praises for the Vice Chancellor and management of the institution for the special role they played in successfully midwifing the first convocation of the university. He also congratulated the students who graduated in the various faculties and advised them to continue to be good ambassadors of the institution wherever they may find themselves in the future. My thanks and appreciation go to God Almighty for the privilege of witnessing this very important occasion, the major convocation of Federal University Kashiri, which will go down in the annals of the history of this great institution. It's quite historic. This occasion also marks my investiture as a new chancellor of the university, and I want to seize this opportunity to thank Mr. President for giving me this singular honor to serve my country in this capacity. The Vice Chancellor. Professor Mohamed Kabiru Farouk, who is an indigene of Kano State, is an accomplished academic with first and second degrees in education from the Bayero University Kano before proceeding to the United States for post-doctorate degree and further studies. It is with gratitude to God and pride to have enjoyed the special privilege to lead the team that midwifed the first convocation of the Federal University Kashere that he delivered his address which happened to be a valedictory address, having completed his term of five years as Vice-Chancellor of the University. The outgoing Vice-Chancellor of the Federal University, Kashere Gwombe State, Professor Mohamed Kabiru Farouk, vividly encapsulated some of the achievements recorded under his stewardship to include keeping strictly to the vision, mission, philosophy, and core values of the University, the integration of use of information and communication technology into the delivery of all courses and programs, as well as tool of communication research, learning and instruction at the FUK with a reliable internet Wi-Fi connection through every part of the institution. Professor Mohamed Kabiru Farouk expressed profound thanks to the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund, and other agencies for some of the projects established at the Federal University Kashere. In conclusion, Professor Mohamed Kabiru Farouk thanked the President, Commander-in-Chief, for granting him the opportunity to serve his country in that regard. I'm very happy and full of satisfaction that our pioneer students are graduating within the span of four years. These are students who, through hard work, sacrifice, patience, and tolerance, were able to remain focused on their studies despite the challenges of being pioneer students. We are witnessing the convocation ceremony today. This ceremony is no doubt a major milestone in the history of Federal University Kashere. To our graduates, I salute your courage, determination and hard work in making your dream of earning a university degree come true. I thank all the staff who, with all the challenges of starting from the scratch, remain undaunted in making FU a global university. After the Vice Chancellor's address, the Registrar invited the Deans of Faculty of Humanity, Management and Social Sciences, and Faculty of Science, in turn, to present candidates for the conferment of first degrees. The Chancellor of the University, 
by the authority of the Senate, conferred the degrees on each of the students who have distinguished themselves in their various courses of study, especially those with first-class degrees. They also got prizes and a handshake from the Chancellor of the University. The best graduating student delivered the valedictory address on behalf of himself and other students of the university. As it is the tradition at such convocation, vice-chancellors from sister universities and other heads of higher institutions of learning presented goodwill messages. They announced their names and the institutions they represented before presenting their scrolls. Goodwill messages by the executive governors began with that of the governor of Bochi State, Alahaji Muhammad Abdullahi Abubakar, who was represented by his deputy, who congratulated the Federal University Kashere on the milestone achievement while pledging the assistance of the Bochi State Government to the growth of the university. On behalf of the good people of Bochi State, and presented by His Excellency the Governor Muhammad Abdullahi Abubakar, to recognize and extend his good messages and excitement by way of award and prizes also to two category to two two, uh, two categories of students and we have decided to say he will extend a similar award to the best graduating male student in the university. In the address of Governor Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambo OON of Gombe State, he also congratulated the Chancellor vice-chancellor and members of the governing council and the university senate for the milestone of graduating students in a record four years without any disruption in their academic activities which he considered a rare feat in this part when strikes and the likes have tended to affect academic work in many universities governor Dankwambo promised to sustain the assistance his administration has been given to the federal university kashere in various areas in the years ahead. Permit me to begin by congratulating His Royal Highness Agabaidu Elias Ikoi Obekpa, FCTI COA, Ochi Dova, for his appointment as the Pioneer Chancellor of this university, and his confirmation with a degree of Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa. You are antecedent as the chief of the Domainland, and your wealth of experience add you this well-deserved appointment. I have no doubt that you will greatly assist Federal University Kashere to develop and become a renowned center of learning. I thank the Federal Government of Nigeria for citing the university in Gombe State and adequately funding it to reach the level of its first sets of students graduating today. I strongly believe that this funding will be sustained to enable the university to expand to its fullest capacity for the benefits of the nation. The address of the visitor of the Federal University Kashere, President Mohamed Buhari, GCFR, was delivered by Professor Mohamed Hamisu Mohamed former Vice-Chancellor of Abubakar Tafawa Balewa University, Bochi, who is now on sabbatical at the National Universities Commission, NUC. I'm highly delighted to be part of this historic occasion of the maiden convocation ceremony of Federal University Kashiri and the investiture of His Royal Highness Elias Ikoji Omepa Ochi Idoma IV as the pioneer Vice-Chancellor of the University. On behalf of the government and people of Nigeria, I congratulate you for being the first chancellor of Federal University Kashiri. This is an additional responsibility bestowed on you because of your capacity to deliver. At the end of his address, the registrar invited the chancellor of the university to close the convocation and he declared the convocation closed. The procession goes out in the reverse order.